Hey KOW community, thanks for joining us today. We are going to be doing a homemade gnocchi class with Vincenzo from Il Paolo. I'm <laughs> going to pronounce that wrong every time, but um, please join us for gnocchi if you've ever wanted to learn. Um, this is a great way to learn and we will be answering questions at the end on our social medias, not live on this one. But, and we will also be rerunning it. Um, it'll be on a pre-record on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So welcome Vincenzo to show you how to make homemade gnocchi. Thanks, Thanks Vincenzo. Joe. All right, so um, first of all, we'll probably start to talk about the, the ingredients again that we're going to use it. We're going to use, uh, the first recipe we're going to do is done with uh, gnocchi with the potato, which is the most common one. However, I'm gonna say that you can make gnocchi more or less with anything. From bread, uh, you can use uh, bread, you can use uh, ricotta, you can use your beans, you can use your uh, um, beetroots, you can use anything that you really like it. Um, so at the end of the day, what is uh, gnocchi is uh, just some dumpling made with the flour and another ingredients, bound together with uh, some eggs and, uh, and then worked out and boiled in the hot boiling water, mix it up with some sauces. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to do the one with the potato. I just been boiling some potato. Now, when we're talking about potato, um, the best one for making gnocchi is your old potato. So it's a way to recover your potato, otherwise you probably don't use it. Um, so the old potato, possible the uh, potato come, unfortunately we don't get much that the, from, uh, from Australia, are the one that come from the mountains because they're much more drier. So what we want, we want some potatoes that are very dry. So over here, I just boiled this one. Make sure that you boil them with the skin on. And don't try the shortcut because the shortcut doesn't work. So you're going to do skin on, take off the peel, and they are very hot at the moment. <laughs> and Vincenzo, why do you leave the skin on? Uh, that's because we want the potato to be as dry as possible. So the skin protects from getting the water inside the potato. So why we want to have them very dry is because um, uh, we want to add as less flour as possible because the more flour we're going to put into it and the more hard they become. Uh, so if one nice, beautiful, soft gnocchi that melts in your mouth, you're going to have a very good dry potato uh, and cook with the whole skin uh, although it's a bit, you know, uh, more um, difficult, or not difficult, but you know, more time consuming. Uh, but I mean, if you have a look, it doesn't take that long to peel them. Probably take longer if you have to peel by hand before. So, so that will give you the beautiful soft gnocchi. A bit on the outside. What's your favorite gnocchi? Uh, I, love, I love all of them, but I gotta say one that I really like a lot is the one done with the bolotti beans, mm. which is uh, something very unusual that you use. Uh, uh, I love all my wild meat, coming from Italy of course, and, um, and yeah, that's very nice to make with uh, some venison um, stew or um, sort of ragu. So our potatoes are done, so as and clean. Let's do this. So what we do, our next step is to make uh, using this beautiful riser. I gotta say that I've been amazed with this one because it's got very it's very particular one. If I can get this out. Um, my old one, when I tried to squash the potato in, all the potato coming out. This one has got a nice attachment there which doesn't make the potato come out, which is very good. So, off we go. Make some beautiful puree. See very limited the amount of going out. In Italy, would you use a potato ricer? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, so would it most I don't believe that this one comes from Italy. Ah, <laughs> all the good stuff, huh? Oh, 
Okay, so you do with a very uh, small um, holes. Holes, <laughs> I would say. Uh, so it comes nice and soft. So our next step, we're going to add some eggs. So I had four potato there. Uh, one egg probably is a bit too much, but should be all right. So we got a pinch of salt, um, sea salt, of course. Can people, uh, again, like we'll ask the question with eggs, can you do it without eggs or not with Yes, we can. Yep. Yeah, we can. The eggs is actually what it does, it, it binds together the ingredient that keeps them more firm. Um, you can do it without, uh, but of course, um, they will be softer. Yeah, is there a replacement or you just don't? No, just, just don't use eggs, recipe. just potato and flour and a bit of salt. And they will do it. So now the amount of flour that you put it in is it's not it's not always the same because it depends on the potato, depends how much water the potato has. So what you do is just start to mix and you add a little at a time. So you have to look at the consistency. Um, most probably the best way of doing it also is to get your potato um, after you 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 squash them. Um, make them to cool down a little bit, so it's much easier, and they will absorb less water because all the all the um, the steam has gone out from it, so the moisture has gone out from it. So you have you keep adding your, and also at this stage, if you really like, you can add some pans and cheese inside of the gnocchi as well. So I'm going to work that one out. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it starts to form, the dough starts to form, slowly, slowly. Bit more flour. And I'm, of course I'm using double zero flour on this occasion, um, because you want something soft, I don't want the semolina, which makes them much more dry. Can you tell us the difference between semolina Double zero, and is a pizza flour different? Mm. Pizza and pasta. Okay, um, okay. The difference is from uh, semolino and uh, and double zero or zero flour. Um, okay, the number zero, which can be zero or double zero or one, is uh, how fine that is grated. However, all of these sort of flour, they belong to the soft wheat. Uh, why the semolino is made from hard wheat and um, the difference from the two is uh, a, part, a different weight but also the, the proteins inside. Now with the, when you do a pizza, a pizza flour, um, usually you're looking for a, a, a flour that's got high contents of proteins. Uh, it's got to be probably around 13 to 14 percent of proteins to have a good pizza uh, because that's what it does. It, it helps in the rising process, so holds the the chain of the gluten together, and so that's why we're talking about we call that hard uh, hard flour. Yeah. Now, if people can't find double zero at the moment, you can use a zero, a no zero. problem. Yeah, the so plain, zero, plain, just a plain flour. flour. Yeah, plain, yeah flour. plain flour. So Over you can here. find plain flour. Yeah. Like just as a backup, but ideally double zero. Yeah, uh, it's not not big. I mean, double zero flour is uh, mostly used, uh, for instance, in Italy, uh, to make um, dessert or like pastry. pastry? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, a touch more flour in there. Probably, and this is important to understand the consistency that you want. Okay? I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so what you do, you need on this one, and you don't need to do very much. Don't need to needle too much. 
you want to make sure that all the ingredients are all mixed completely but I don't want to over, overdo because if you do that you will need to that dough will uh, ask for more flour so you have to put more flour the more flour you put the more hard the gnocchi are going to become so it goes something like that which is fine Who taught you how to make gnocchi? Did you learn as a chef or did your nonna teach you? Yeah. I got that from my, uh, my family, of course. From your family? Yeah. My mom and my grandma would make it and would ask all kids to go there and do it. So, so was that quite a tradition in your house to go to your families and make... Did you make passata and did yeah, yeah, you do that? Yeah, we make all the different things, yeah. the passata, the sausages, prosciutto any sort of uh, things that you will think about it. Uh, especially for us, because we used to live on a farm, so most of our food comes from the farm but directly. So what kind of farm did you live on? Uh, actually, the one that we lived on, we used to run buffalo on it for the mozzarella. Oh, so we used to run them to uh, produce the milk for the mozzarella. So what you do, you get, cut a little bit of your dough, and you start to roll it to have see it's nice and soft this is the consistency that we should look at okay so, so when you leave that restable or you don't need to with gnocchi it doesn't no, need because to it's more yeah. it's got the potato in it yeah the potato will check so we cut them Depends how big you like. If you like it bigger or you like it smaller, it's up to your taste. Um, and up, it's up to how much time you got to do it. The end product doesn't change. Then what we're going to have is a nice... Okay, the important thing is when you've done that is to actually flour the, them so they don't tend to stick to each other and flour the surface where you're going to put them. And with this particular uh, piece of equipment that you, I guess you can buy from here, you just go on the top and make your little beautiful gnocchi there. Now, when you do this, see, this is the part that's been cut and this is the part that's been rolled. So you roll against the part that's been rolled, not against the part that's been cut because that one there has got lots of uh, moist and will get your gnocchi to stick to your, your paddle. Very easy. So, We used to do as a kid that when we were four or five years old. So I guess I have to learn that. So you apply a bit of pressure at the beginning and then you release it so it comes over. So let's do a bit more so we can have someone to try this later on. Flour on that. And you build up here. And again. It's a very quick way of preparing a beautiful home meal. Probably your uh, longest part of this process is to boil your potato. And the rest doesn't take that long. Now, while we're doing this, uh, 
we only, why we don't, usually if you go to a restaurant, they will serve the gnocchi like that. Okay? Oh, with that roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. because that be slack. <laughs> uh, we're doing this because for the simple reason, because uh, what happens, the sauce will penetrate inside here. As you can see, uh, there's a little hole in there, and also all those um, line around it, they will like catch the sauce, so it will be much more tastier. That's more or less enough for one portion, so we leave the rest. So how would you store that if you, if you didn't use it straight away? Uh, look, you, you, should, you should use it straight away because it's going to go soft. What you can do, you can make all of them and then freeze it and put them away. So you leave outside only the amount that you need it and so the rest. So you use the dough straight away and freeze yeah. it uncooked? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the way. Always make it to the final product like this. Then you freeze it, and then what you do, you freeze and cover it again. And, um, and then when they are frozen, what you do, you take them away, you crack them loose, and you put in a bag, and you tie them up so they don't get freezer You've got fresh gnocchi in your freezer. That's it, beautiful, isn't it? All right, now, the next one that I would like to show you is I'm going to put this away so we don't lose it. Later on, somebody can play with it. I and might make some at home later. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one I'm going to make, I want to like to show you, is the one made with a summer ricotta. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same equipment. Now this is a particular variety of gnocchi. So you're doing the ricotta one now and yes. just using the same equipment? Yeah. Because what you want, you want the ricotta to be to be nice and um, and smooth as well. So what we got here, I got some uh, of the ricotta from Borello. This actually, this dish here usually is made with the ship and cotta, which is uh, something very hard to find in, uh, in what Australia. Kind of what ship? Sheep ricotta. Yeah, hard which to is find much in more. Australia? <laughs> good luck. And so the one that we see in the stores, like you have there, is that a cow ricotta? It's store? a cow ricotta, yeah. That's the one of the, the few that are around. Um, yeah. So what I'll do, I'll. Um, you can do this through this one, which is uh, easy to do it. Or otherwise, you can do it through a sieve using a sieve. It will sound something too. this recipe will be up on our blog as well so you guys will be able to have a look later because the Italians like to make things by sight not by measurements but you guys will be learn <laughs> from the recipes on the blog that there is um, no there is no measurement as such because what you do you actually have to work yeah, because every, the texture different. exactly that is different you know it depends on the variety of ricotta this one is quite consistent but if you get another variety, it's very watery, wet. very wet. Yes. Uh, what you should do, you should take them out and leave it to dry from the night before. Okay. In order to have the dry. So out of the fridge the night before and then the... No, you can put it in the fridge, but yes. what you do, you take it out from the container and put uh, it in a sieve. So it so doesn't have the liquid dries, in the there. The liquid dries out. So this one here, so we've got probably about 100 grams of ricotta there. And put probably about 50 grams or 25 grams of uh, parmesan cheese. Give some flavor. Pinch of salt. And then some of the flour. Uh, this stage you can actually, if you like, probably I'm going to do that just to make it a bit more interesting. We can add a bit of uh, parsley in there. So we can chop some parsley very fine. 
to give a bit of color. And more or less exactly the same as before. And we can use also an egg. Uh, because I got a small quantity there, instead of using the whole egg, I'm going to use just the egg yolk. Just the yolk, did you say? Yeah, take? but yeah. just because my quantity are very limited there. Yes. Otherwise, I would use the whole egg. But in the recipe that the guys will have. Say the whole egg, yeah, but whole big, egg. bigger quantity. OK, so we mix them up as we did before. And we see how much flour that the ricotta and the egg would take it. And I put parsley, but you can use it from any herbs that you like. Do you think you could just show the people? Yeah, just like that. So what other herbs would you recommend? Oh, look, you can use the basil, you can use thyme. Um, sage depends yeah. depends also the sauce that you're the going sauce. to to use. What sauce are you popping with the ricotta one? Uh, I think we're just making the simple one uh, for this one, but you can use uh, butter and sage. That's a nice one. Uh, so what you do? What they call the fried gnocchi. Yeah. So. <laughs> You boil your gnocchi and then you put uh, your butter Would and let it fry. Of course, yeah. yes. And the, and the sage. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make a very different uh, 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 sauce for uh, the one with the potato. It's one of the sauces that I just made up. One day I was looking in my garden. I saw all my herbs around there. So I'm going to add some gnocchi. So I'm going to make a sauce just with the herbs from my garden. And um, yeah, using some nuts and that I also had a bottle, so I use some pine nuts and uh, some of uh, pistachio nuts. And um, and I'll show you in a minute. Do you tend to cook generally from your region? What you like? So you say you like a lot of gammon. Do you tend to cook from your region? Is the gammon uh, game? Sorry, game is a popular in your area? Uh, look, game is more or less popular in every way in Italy, any any region. Um, but yeah, I love I love the cooking of my region. But I don't mind to to do something different as well. But of course, you know, the, the one that comes from your region, you got in your blood, you got in your DNA, so it's easier to make it, and uh, it comes better. So you can see this one, more or less the same consistency that we had of the other one. So no potatoes or anything in that one, it's no, just the ricotta, just the ricotta. parsley and egg yolk because it's a small quantity. Yeah, and, and flour. some flour. A bit of salt, of course. A um, salt. Yeah. Well, as I said before, there are about, probably about 20 different variety of gnocchi made with all different ones. The same thing you can do with that. Um, there is one particular variety is called nudi, it means uh, undressed, uh, which is made with a ricotta and a bread, a style bread, and then boiled in the in a, in a, in a stock and served as there. Uh, you can make with uh, there is one that's been very popular lately because uh, uh, Massimo Bottura, which is one of the best chefs around the world, has uh, created to. Um, Produced the wastage, and that was made with the breadcrumbs coming when you cut the bread, uh, some um, parmesan cheese, and uh, some lemon zest, and, uh, and an egg, of course. And uh, so you make that, and you uh, actually use the rice, and, um, and with that one on top of the boiling stock. You cut and you put to it. Nice. It's beautiful. All right. So, all 
Okay, so we're doing the same way as we did with the other one. This one, maybe you can see it, but I can feel it. It's more consist the consistency is different from the other one. It's more hard. And that's because the ricotta was quite wet, so I had to add extra flour. So the same sort of thing that we did before. That's where gnocchi there. Here we go. So very simple, very easy. Anybody can do it. Don't they look nice with that little parsley in the middle? They look beautiful. You think I could have a try of one? Why not? See, like this is what we normally do in our store workshop, so yeah, we'll you can see people. how someone who's not Italian does it. Alright, I'll get you this stage. So this is a very, yeah, just you want to hold it. Good. Either this way or that way? That? Nope. 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 <laughs> I didn't do it? Harder. Harder. You go harder down. No. Okay. I'll show you. Do it yep, this other way. Do it instead, of do it. you can do it like this. Yes. In some way. Okay. Nice. But also, for me, it's easier in this way. Ah, you pull forward. Yeah. I'll have actually. one more try and then I'll yeah, let you get back it. to it. What? Use this finger. Which, oh, that one. This one. That one. That one. Yeah. Yeah, push, now, you're going to push harder at the beginning. Harder. A bit harder at the beginning. That's it. Nearly there. Okay. I'll leave Getting you to there. it. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, what are you going to do? You, go, you see, you're pushing hard at the beginning, and then you let you release it. You go do some practicing. <laughs> That's all right. I'll leave you all, the whole bench so you can do it. Sounds good to me and my family. <laughs> I think they would enjoy it. So, and the gnocchi board, we've just got them back in again. They're quite um, hard to get, but at the moment we've got quite a good stock of them. So, hopefully yeah, you guys can go online or click and collect and... Um, now, if uh, if you are in the in the situation that you can uh, find them, what you can do, you can use your uh, grater, doing the same thing, or you can use your fork, fork. doing the same thing, on the same way. So the main thing is just to get some grooves in them. Yes, so and a little hole at the back so the sauce goes into. Get a good mouthful. Yeah. All right. So. This is ready. What we can do now, we're going to make some uh, uh, sauces. Um, okay. Good on the induction. Oh, that's actually good. You did it. That's How it? hot? Do you want this one hotter yet or no? Yeah. Yes. And then. Should then we? We'll should we? Oh, we can't actually. Not yet. Into there. Yeah. No, we'll not do yet. We'll do the next one. Okay. Do the simple one first. Okay, some extra virgin olive oil in there. A little bit of uh, onions. Just the Neapolitan sauce or the fresh tomato sauce, uh, which we're going to use with um, 
uh, the one with the ricotta. That's a very good sauce for that because uh, it will um, combine the two ingredients very, very nicely. So again, what I got here, I got some uh, cherry tomato, Roma cherry tomato. Now, of course, these sauces, they should be made in uh, summer when it's possible with the fresh tomato. During the winter, if you don't have fresh tomato available, good fresh tomato available, because we shouldn't eat. Uh, and the one that comes from more far away, they're not as good as the other one. You should have made your passata. So you, all your uh, chopped tomato made in the bottles. I remember my one famous memory is when, as a kid, we used to make the passata. So the passata is easy. Then you get all these San Marzano tomato. They go cut in small pieces like this and put to the bottle with your finger. So, <laughs> so you got lots of planning to do as a kid. Okay, so we sweat our onions there. Again, if you prefer, you can use garlic. I prefer onions with this one because it makes uh, sweeter, uh, where the garlic tends to be a bit bitter as a final result. Then we we'll put our tomato there. That's the sauce. So what beautiful bacon. Now, one day somebody told me that uh, I shouldn't use the uh, basil flour. The flour is actually the most, uh, it's got the most perfume, the so most flavor. So you should use it. Okay, so while this one is cooking along, it should take about three to four minutes to cook that sauce. Depends how strong is your stove. Hopefully this one goes up. Now, like any pasta, your uh, water is going to be uh, boiling. So we're waiting for, so for our water to be boiling. And then we can put our gnocchi in it. Now, when you do the, the pasta, the water for the pasta, you're going to make sure that you got enough salt in it. So the, the, goes, the, the thing goes that you should test your, uh, your water and the test should be like the water from the ocean. Don't be scared to put the salt in it. I know your doctor say that you don't have to use too much salt, but what it doesn't say to you is a different salt you don't use. It. You should have the salt which is very fine. Well, if you use a sea salt, it's always it's actually very good for your body, for your health. So I'm going to I'm going to use a bit of water from the pasta bowl to match my toes up. Okay, my sauce is done. Just while you're on this one, probably half a minute. So, There we go. So as you can see, our boy, our water is boiling hard. Now, if you're using the fresh gnocchi like this one, the rule is when they come to the top, 
they should be ready. When you steer them, make sure that you steer gentle. Now, if you're using the frozen one, just remember, you need a lot of water because what happens, the frozen one will drop down the temperature of the water and what is going to happen, they're going to lose the flour, so they're going to melt uh, and you will lose lots of them. They become like a polenta rather than a gnocchi. So what you do, you have a big bowl of water, very hot, you put your gnocchi in there and very gentle steer them so they come apart uh, without being too hard on it. Um, so you don't lose them. So not in the boiling water? In, in a very hot boiling water. And also they, they will float to the top even if they are not cooked, if they are coming as a, from the frozen stage. So you make sure that you cut one of them and look inside if they are completely cooked. If they are not, you will see two different colors in the gnocchi. Um, if they are, it will be only one color, like any of the other pasta. Try to work out this. That's all right. Got, got it. it. Got it. Yep. So as you see, our gnocchi are floating most of them on the top. Wait until everyone comes to the top. I don't know if you can see them. But yep. So if you get one of this one and you cut in the middle. I don't know if you can see it, but that is all the same color. So they are cooked. Okay, here we go. Me? Too long. Too long? <laughs> <laughs> I've been, um, me, as a professional, I've been doing for the last 28 years. Yeah? Yeah. Um, as, a, as a, someone that enjoys cooking, enjoys um, uh, doing this, and probably since I was five years old, yeah. on the farm, I had to cook for my family when they were working and I was at home. So as I say, you add a little bit of water from the cooking pot in there and you will see the change of the color of the gnocchi. They get, you can see the, all the sauces start to stick on that. So if you want to be even more sophisticated at this point, you add a little bit of parmesan cheese there. That will help to stick your sauce to your gnocchi as well. There we go. So, we're going to our pot. Beautiful there. That there you go. Amazing. Just show everyone. So that's the ricotta with yep. uh, pomodoro sauce. Yep. Beautiful. Now I'm going to make these other sauces, I promise you. So what I got here, I got some herbs from my garden. So I got some parsley. So I'm going to See if I can get this to work. Are you open this thing? Okay. Go to the easy way. Can you get it? Yep. Yep, we can see you. Ah, beautiful. So I go parsley. I go some sage. Basil, mm 
for some time. And the most important one here is the some mint. And I'll tell you in a minute why is it so important. Okay, then what I got here is uh, some pine nuts. This is always a chef measurement or non measurement. And some pistachio nuts. only bezel you use all the different I need some help. Yeah. Love to be. Oh. Where's Rosie when we need her? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> voila! Rosie, we needed you. <laughs> We're done, eh? Is that good to go? Yep. Yes, so I'll pop that there for you. Okay, so here we go. I'll start off the face of course there. I'm going to put that in, uh, in our fry pan. And a touch of cream. So that is why I use the the mint because turn on. yeah I think you need because okay. because what does because we're using cream so it's very soft flavor the mint is actually contrasting that and mixing makes the things go in a very nice beautiful flavor. Yeah, the mint is the most important one. The other one you can use whatever you got. Yes. Whatever you right. find around, whatever you got. Of course, it will change the flavor or the sauce, but it's um, yeah, more or less the same. So we're waiting until this one comes to the boiling, and then we're going to drop the gnocchi in. How long does the gnocchi normally take to cook in the water? Well, look, depends how thick they are. Uh, but probably two or three minutes, not very long. So you can see this one is start to come along. So gnocchi. Again, you steal them very gentle. can smell it with mint. Beautiful. See, nice consistency there. So you 
can see the beautiful souls there. Just a little bit, not too much, just a, a little, little bit. So that's ready to go. As soon as the gnocchi is coming on board, we're ready. And if you see that it's reducing down too much, what you can do, add a little bit of water from your cooking pot, and that will make the sauce back again. Okay, our gnocchi are coming on the top, so time to get them uh, out. Move it on to yeah, this one. Move on this one. We're better off. Alright. Yep. Can add a little bit. Of parmesan cheese again on top. Here we go. Perfect. That looks and smells amazing. Thank you so much for coming in. Matteo wants this one, the cameraman, but I think it's got my name written on it. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you so much for joining us and thank you to the KW community for um, coming in and oh, coming into the social media forum and um, we look forward to seeing you. Keep an eye on our social medias, um, the different platforms, Facebook, Instagram and this will also be on YouTube and the recipes are on our blog, uh, the family table on our Kitchen Warehouse uh, blog. So thank you so much and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much guys Thanks, and um, keep an eye on our Facebook page, Il Paiolo, and uh, so we can see what else we're doing around the time and uh, have a good one. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.